Hi guys, so this is the second part of this tutorial. We started with this bottom here and it's reversible, the same as the top. So this on this top looks like and it's reversible as well. So we're gonna keep making if you didn't watch the first tutorial where I made the pants and where I cut and stitch the lycra. Watch this first, watch the bottom first because on the top I'm going straight to the crochet part because the stitching is the same for both sides, the top and the bottom. So watch that first and now we're gonna start with this crochet top. I hope you enjoy it. Give me a like, subscribe to my channel if you enjoy my uh, tutorials. I'll keep posting tutorials with the central machine that I really love and uh, crochet and, and lycra swimwear as well. Okay, the pattern for this top, for the lycra part of it, I'm selling on my website uh, creativeswimwear.com and you can purchase there if you want just different sizes. Okay, I always make small, medium and large. So let's start it. Start this top. I'm gonna be making the same thing I did on the bottom. This is the other side of the top that I already made. And it's the exact same thing we did on the bottom. So I'm going to start on this side here. On the back part, I always like to start on the back. I'm going to be making with my 095 millimeters hook. It's a very fine hook, this one. Make a slip knot to start. And then we're going to punch the first hole through right in that corner. Sometimes it's a little more difficult, and then you can put it all the way through that makes it easier to pull it to the other side make sure you only get two layers of fabric as well and I just realized I don't have my glasses on that's why I can't see <laughs> After you 42, my friend, your vision starts going. And there's no way back. Yeah, I think I got it. So, chain two, always in between. One, two. And then place the hook first where you want it to be. Like you know, same distance you have on the top, you have on the bottom, so that's what I do this way, and here I have my little hole where I put pull the fabric through, inside out I have to make sure that the fabric's folded the right way here before I crochet on top of it, so, so just hold it while you're making it just to make sure it's on the right spot there always two chains in between and two single crochets with two chains in the corners every single corner is the same So they repeat this all around and then we're gonna make another row around it and then we are going to start making the back part of it that I made a bit different. I'm gonna use a granny square in the middle. So here I have one stitch, two chains and another stitch in that same corner so after I finished making crochet 
with the small hook into the lycra. What I'm going to do here is um, so I finished here that same way with the double crochet into the first stitch and I'm going to make the same I did for the pants, the same work I did on the pants I'm going to do here on the back and so I measured already the back and how much I need and it's around 40 centimeters for me so you measure for yourself as well and then we are going to add that elastic as well the same way on the back so we have um, a bit of uh, support for the this this top on the back so I'm going to make four chains here to start and then one double crochet in this first stitch single crochet and then chain four four and then I'm gonna count how many I have so I have two four six seven so right in the middle so one two three here right here in the middle that's where I'm going to make my stitches now so it's one double crochet two double crochets one chain and two other double crochets here and then chain four again make I'm gonna make one double crochet in here because I want the next in there so it's just before the corner you make your double crochet there and one chain and I'm going to make another double crochet right in this uh, chain here because it's on the corner there and then I'm going to go up one two three four chains to the next row and then double crochet on top of the other double crochet chain four so that's that work will be repeating now from now on and in this middle chain here I'm going to double crochet two chain one and double crochet another two and then chain four two three four double crochet right here on the double crochet chain one and double crochet in this third chain of the beginning that's how it looks like now and I'm gonna keep repeating this for a few rows so each one of my rows has around one centimeter I don't have my yeah each one of my rows has around one centimeter so I should be doing around 35 and then I'm gonna put put on my bag and try it again to see if it's enough if it's not enough I make a few more so around 35 and then when I come back we are going to put that um, elastic the same way we did for the bottom very easy and then we are going to finish around the entire piece which with another row and then the edge after because don't forget we need to make here on the front I already made and I'm gonna show you now so this has around two centimeters of um, two and a half centimeters of lycra and uh, I zigzag stitch the whole way and now I'm gonna turn inside out so this is gonna be the tie for the front of my bikini this part here and then I'm gonna make a few a few spaces to put it through on both sides but that's gonna be after this part here 
So we'll go ahead and make around 35 uh, rows of this same work and then try on yourself and see if it's enough. So I ended up making 33 rows of this and then I measure on myself, I put on my back and I thought it was enough. So now we are going to just join with the other side here. Make sure both sides are facing the same way. And then we are going to start with one, two chains. And then after these two chains, we are going to place our hook right in that corner stitch, right on the corner. And we are going to um, single crochet one, slip stitch one, okay? So slip stitch one, slip stitch on the, in that next chain. From here we just made one uh, slip stitch and then we are going to double crochet here on the other side on top of that double crochet and then slip stitch again in the next chains slip stitch the next single crochet and then we can make our two double crochets one two in that very next single crochet we're going to slip stitch one slip stitch two slip stitch three sing double crochet two one two slip stitch in that very next single crochet slip stitch again in the next two chains double crochet on the other side slip stitch on the very corner there right on the corner and then double crochet in that second chain right okay now it's perfect so we're gonna put the elastic through here before after and then now well, make sure before you do anything try it on yourself okay it's perfect for me so I'm gonna go around making all the way around making the making this same stitch here so I'm going to start with one two three chains and on the in the middle of that next row I'm going to make my next stitch and then I'm going to chain one and in the middle of the next row so I'm going to skip that chains and then in the middle always in between the rows I'll be making double crochet uh, double crochets Okay, so one chain, one double crochet, one chain, one double crochet, all the way, and then here the same thing, I'll be making one chain, one double crochet in each single crochet from before, okay, all the way around the entire top. And then to finish it off after with an edging. So right here on the corners, don't forget to make one extra stitch just to turn. So I'm going to make one, two, three chains to turn and start on the other side. And then double crochet in that same stitch right on the corner there. And chain one, double crochet in the next stitch chain one, double crochet in the next one and repeat around I'm actually working on the um, 
red side of this bikini because I like the red better. Okay, and here, let's do again, so chain one, and we are going to add one more stitch in this same stitch here, just to make the corner better, and then one on the very next one. So finishing here my last stitch, chain one, and single crochet in the third chain from the beginning slip stitch here and so now what I'm gonna do so decide whichever side you wanna wear more because we are going to make now if you if you wanted like the other side you can just turn and make the edge this way or you can make the edge the other way. I'm gonna make the other way because I'm I like the I like the red better on me. And so that same edge we are going to make. And then getting here, we are going to make a long string for the neckties. Okay, you have around a hundred chains and back, like I always do. So from here, single crochet, one, single crochet, two, chain two for the picot stitch, single crochet here, skip one, single crochet on that next one, and then single crochet one, two, three, Again, skip one in that next one. One, two, three. So I'm going to repeat that until I get to that necktie, and then I'm going to show you how I made the, the, the necktie. So here I made 90 chains from the top here, and I'm gonna to make the neckties and then skip one two three on the beginning here and in that fourth one we are going to make one single crochet chain one and then skip one single crochet in the next one chain one skip one single crochet in the next one chain one skip one single crochet in the next one all the way to back here and then finish it off with picot stitch all the way around as well here are the two yarns you can use either this one in brazil or it's called bikini in america and this uh, fixation yarn from Cascade. This is much more easy to find, okay? So they're both good. And, in, and the beauty about this, this bikini design is that you're gonna use only one ball. Make sure you buy two anyway, just in case if you're making a large buy two. And uh, 50 grams, okay? As you can see here is 165 meters. Let's see how many meters this one, 91 meters, a bit less, but you end up using the same amount, okay? And so here, I decided, just because this is more decorative than, um, than essential for, like, the bottom, this is essential because it needs to hold, while here is more like a little detail of, on, the, on, the, on the back. So I decided to use a piece of lycra instead. So as you can see, this lycra has a piece of lycra has a centimeter and a half. Okay, and all you do here is just to pull it. And once you pull it, it just rolls. And just rolls on itself 
and then you can fit that in there and do the same thing I did here, just stitch the ends, okay? So that's what I'm doing here to finish it off. Okay, total size, just so you know, from one side to the other. Here, from here to here. 70 centimeters all the way. Okay, the neck ties. So people want to see in centimeters always get much easier. Around 45 centimeters. Okay, and now with this tool here that I recently bought, I'm gonna. You could use a piece like that, okay? So in the front of your bikini, and then you can make a little knot here so you it doesn't open. Or you can stitch on your sewing machine with the zigzag stitch, and then use this tool to turn this inside out. I just bought this because that's a bit of a difficult job to do this. So just that's the first time I'm using it. So. Just hook that in there and start. It should work this way, I don't know. There you go. So start pulling this way. Such a beautiful color right though. Okay, it's working. Oh, there you go. Now you can remove it. Pull the rest. And there you go. It's perfect. If you have experience on your, with your sewing machine, you can either like use a necktie like this one instead and just stitch there in one of the sides you know what I mean? you can use that or the other way like I'm doing here and then I'm just gonna go ahead pull it through I actually think it's a bit too thick but let's see so this is how uh, this bikini looks like after finished. So this is how I did here. I stitched right on the edge here because I thought it was better than this here. So if you want to do the same way here on the bottom, I think it will look better too. Okay. And I ended up using the one that I that I sti that I flipped inside out, this one here, just because it was a bit too thick to put in the middle. And in the middle here, I made two little knots, and I used the one just cut it. There's no stitching, okay? So this is how it looks like on this side. I really much prefer this side. And I posted a few photos of me wearing it. That's the other side. It looks perfect as well. It's all well finished, so you can use on both sides. And here are both sides of the swimwear. Beautiful. It looks beautiful. It looks really perfectly made. Okay. And um, I'm really happy about it. So if you enjoyed this uh, tutorial, just Give me a like and subscribe to my channel, that helps me a lot. I'm going to put the other sizing on my website for you to download for a small fee, okay? And so you can make small, medium and large. This is a medium with a medium top, okay? So I see you next week. Thanks for watching again and I hope you have a great weekend. Bye!